My last video was about how to make a Microsoft Teams rooms working together with a touch display. But there is a few settings that you would need to do on the Microsoft Teams rooms. So here is how you do it. So when you want to connect a touch screen to your Teams rooms, you will simply first of all need to connect the keyboard. Then you go into more and into the settings. And then you would write the password which is by default SFB and then go into the Windows settings and then again go to the admin, type your admin password, default SFB. And of course, these are one of the things that we ask people to do is actually to change uh, the password as one of the first things that should be done. Then we simply go to the search bar and search for calibrate then you would actually see calibrate the screen for pen or touch input and do like this then you will have this setting and then you would go and make sure that this is the setting that is chosen this one and then hit setup and hit touch input so what we will see right now is that you would need to touch this one and then you take the keyboard and press enter and then there is the same information on the touch display and then you tap this one and then the touch screen is calibrated. The next thing that we could do is also set up for the pen input and since this one is just this and then we take the pen and do like that and then we have actually done the configuration. Could also, just to make sure, take this one right here and do this one setup. Doesn't have a pen, so it's a touch input. Then it's like this, touch. So right now, it just go straight into the Skype settings. Hit sign in, and then everything is configured to be ready to use a touchscreen together with your Microsoft Teams rooms. Thank you so much for joining. Hope to see you again soon. See you. Bye.